In this video, I'll be going through the dividend payout policies that's covered in the CFA Level 2 Corporate Finance Syllabus. So there are three dividend payout policies that we'll be going through. Uh, number one will be the stable dividend policy. Then two, we have the constant dividend payout ratio policy. And three, we have the residual dividend policy. In the stable dividend policy, the management will incrementally increase the dividend over the years rather than trying to drastically increase or reduce dividends, so hence the name stable. So the expected dividend will be based on the previous dividend plus the expected earnings times the target payout ratio minus the previous dividend and this will be adjusted by this uh, adjustment factor. And the adjustment factor is based on 1 over n, n here being the number of years that it takes to make the adjustment so the target payout ratio will be based on the long-term forecast of sustainable earnings so in this case the management will be concerned about changes in dividends rather than the level of dividends itself and companies will cut dividends or eliminate dividends only as a last resort or in very extreme cases so take this example where last year Excel incorporated had earnings of five dollars a share and paid a regular dividend of 80 cents so this is the previous dividend so for the current year, the company anticipates earnings of 650. So this is expected earnings. They have a target payout ratio of 40% and they use a six year period to adjust the dividend. So compute the expected dividend for the current year, okay, which is the expected dividend in this case. So the expected dividend is equals to the previous dividend, which is 80 cents, plus the expected earnings, which is 650 times the target payout ratio 40% minus the previous dividend which is 80 cents and then we multiply by the adjustment factor which is 1 over 6 okay the number of years that it takes to make the adjustment so this will be 80 cents and the second term here will be equals to 30 cents so that's the adjustment that will be that we will make to arrive at the expected dividend for the coming year okay which is one dollar and ten cents so there will be an incremental increase there in terms of dividends. Now, if you are asked to measure the change in dividends, okay, the change in dividends would be 30 cents. For the constant dividend payout ratio policy, the management will apply a dividend payout ratio on the current year's earnings to get the dividend amount. So in other words, if the dividend payout ratio is a constant, let's say 30%, then the dividend will fluctuate based on the fluctuation in earnings. So the higher the earnings, the higher the dividend level. The lower the earnings, the lower the dividend level. So in this example, we have Cloud Gold Incorporated expects earnings to be $4 a share for the coming year. And if the company practices a constant dividend payout ratio policy, where the ratio is 30%, calculate the expected dividend. So that would just be 30% multiplied by the, uh, the earnings per share, which is uh, $4. So that would be $1.20 a share. Okay, so this is pretty straightforward. 